What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today I want to talk quickly about kind of how the community seems to be getting bored with the game. And I can even look at my own friends list and see less people playing the game now than there was about a month ago. The game has not been out that long and I think the community as a whole from what I've read and see people talk about is they feel like the changes to the meta happened too quickly. They were disappointed with the first gear sets that came out, uh, a lot of talks of, of changes of this and that. You've had to change your gear up, change your setups up. Been a lot of nerfs and uh, things of that nature that I think have upset people too. And I understand they want to balance the game out, but there is a, a, a thing such as too many changes too quickly, so it makes you feel like even in a looter shooter style game that you're having to farm gear too often. And there's also a thing you know where you feel like you never have to farm anything and you've been running the same thing forever. I think the game needs to find, or Ubisoft kind of needs to find a, a happy medium within that. And hopefully they will within the, the coming months when they get everything worked out. As a whole, I still feel that the PvE is a better experience than it was in the first Division, but the PvP is a different story. I played the Division 1's Dark Zone a good bit more than I have played the Dark Zone in the Division 2. I feel that the three Dark Zones was a really bad idea. There's a lot less people in the Dark Zone, and it is not the same experience as it was in the original game. I have friends that are Dark Zone-only style players, and they just do not play the game because they're not enjoying the Dark Zone whatsoever. They don't really care to play conflict. So I feel like it's kind of hurt the community as a whole, especially with those PvP fans. The next thing I think that may hurt the game kind of later on it doesn't really hurt it now of course the new raid has been delayed which i know is a disappointment but when it comes to free dlc kind of these companies that do this live content idea i'm a huge fan of it i think if you pay full price for a game you pay 64 dollars in the united states for a game where i live anywhere anyway it's around 64 or 65 bucks with tax all dlc should be free because it's ridiculous to have to pay upwards of a hundred dollars for every game to be able to play the game in this entirety but when it comes to companies that do free DLC, it seems to be that they put it out a little bit slower. It's probably because they don't feel as rushed to get everything out. And it's a bad thing because it does kind of leave lulls in the game. And that could happen with the Division 2 later on. Uh, but also it's a good thing in my opinion. Because if you step away from the game for a couple months, you come back, you have several new things to play that are fresh. And you know, something that you haven't done in the past. I still feel that Overall, it is kind of boring to me right now. It's kind of pointless to go out and grind things when I know the meta is going to change very soon. I think everybody's kind of waiting on the raid and kind of seeing where everything's going to be kind of settled in at that point to know what to run and what kind of classes they want to use. I think they have hurt some builds. I don't think skill builds are very viable in this game right now to me and have not been from the start. Just kind of overall, I don't want it to be like Destiny 1. I love Destiny 1, but it got so many lulls in it where there was nothing to do and people got tired of it that it really just kind of pushed you away from the game. And finally, it just kind of almost really hurt the game in the end where it had less and less players. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.